Soccer League. So, you can tell by the title what this is about. I stumbled on a spinning reel just by following my principle of staying around $99 or so or less for my spinning reels. I came across a reel that I have really come to love and enjoy. And that is the Shimano Nasai C3000 HG. This is an incredibly smooth reel. Weighs uh, 8.8 .8 pounds, so, uh, excuse me, ounces. So in that mid range of weight, not incredibly light, not overly heavy. It's a 4.1, surprisingly. Four to one bearings, uh, the one being the anti-reverse. And this is the smoothest reel I've owned. And I've owned several styles. I've owned uh, various Shimano's. I've owned uh, various Daiwa reels, Luz reels. I also have my Enigma reels. And I've also, I also have some uh, Cast King reels, Abu Garcia reels, all spinning reels. And this one is the smoothest. In addition to that, it is a 6.2 to 1, and it picks up 36 inches of line. I believe that's one of the fastest uh, reels that I own. So also one of the key things in my choices because I do a lot of finesse techniques with my spinning reels and I need to be able to pick up that slack line fast and set that hook. So this has become a key player for me. This is actually my third reel. My other two are matched on my, on my Enigma HTP and my Enigma Phenom, both seven foot medium heavy spinning reels. Phenomenal setup. I would put that setup against any other setup in terms of uh, strength, durability, accuracy, um, setting the hook, dealing with cover. Also, when throwing light baits as light uh, baits as well, because I on my finesse techniques, I generally run about an an eighth of an ounce, uh, and even with my Ned rigs, I do. Uh, I like to run the one the one tenth um, ounce model, and I have no problem casting uh, with my medium heavy rods. Uh, excellent setups for finesse, hands down. I would match those against anything. In addition to that, holds uh, quite a bit of line. Um, I believe uh, 170 yards for eight ounces. So an incredible reel. Like I said, I have two of these. Um, you'll definitely be able to check out my videos and see these in action. The drag is smooth. I never worry about losing the fish with these. Uh, once I got them hooked, it's pretty much over to the boat. That's been my experience so far, or to the bank. So this one here is actually brand new. I have not even broken the seal. So in addition to the review, it will be an unboxing as well. So let's go ahead and get this open. Take care of that. So if you take a look in the box, this is how it comes. It has all its paperwork right on top. And it comes in the plastic. I want to give you a good look at it. And I am left-handed. So immediately what I do is I make that change to turn this handle around. And with all of these, it's been really easy and I've had difficulty with other brands with this for some reason. You know, not screwing in as easy, but the transition has not been as smooth at all. Put that in, go right back in. I would always have a, a problem at some point with the threading and 
trying to make sure that it, it fits correctly, but you can see how that went right in, no problem. And with that, these are incredibly smooth. And then when you put it on your reel, you don't even see the, you don't even feel the movement or the movement you see in my hand, just solid. I also love the styling. It's not quite a black, but it's a deep blue flake type finish. Here, it's, it looks black. It has the nice gold accents on it. Again, like I was saying, incredible drag. And I believe that drag is 20 pounds. Let me double check. Yes, it is 20 pounds. So again, for $99, this is where I would put my money. Very nice styling. So again, as I mentioned, I have it paired on my Phenom rod. On this one, I was running a wacky rig. And here where it really looks good too as well on my HTP. So, those are my two main spinning setups that I like to throw the majority, majority of things on. So every time I'm out, these are the rods and reels that I turn to first. Of course, I have uh, several other spinning combinations, but those have turned out to be my favorite. The other thing I like here, the screw design here. I had an issue before with another reel where it had the uh, kind of the other style, the, the round style, and it, did, it wasn't screwed in as well. It was one large screw and eventually that fell out. And then I had concerns because then I was getting dirt right in the ball bearing. So, I like this design here. I also like this T-handle design. Really gives you a lot of good control. A lot of good control. So really enjoy that. I said, excellent drag. Great looking reel. In that medium range between uh, heavy and, and light. So doesn't really emphasize one either way, but it's definitely a bass machine pulls up that slack immediately. That drag works perfect to keep those fish pinned. And definitely my rec recommendation for finesse fishing. So if you have any questions about this reel, its usage, uh, again, I would urge you to take a look at my videos and see my reel in action. See me using this in action, the casting, the uh, dealing with fish, bringing them up me bringing up slack line and setting the hook and really getting a good overall picture of how I've used this reel. I've caught a lot of good fish on it. I've caught some, uh, some decent sized fish on there, uh, over three pounds with the bass. And I've caught a lot of fish in, in, in a day and over time with these reels and never get tired of them. Look forward to using them, really enjoy them. So again, if you have any questions, comments please let me know i have another surprise one that'll be coming up soon uh one that also shocked me I, I didn't expect to be so impressed by these reels so my lunker league thanks for hanging in there i want to do more of these reel reviews for you just to show you what i use again i'm not sponsored by these companies so this is my true assessment of what I love, what I enjoy, and what I feel like makes my fishing experience really comfortable without breaking the bank. So luckily, if you've been here this long, much love to you, and stay tuned for the next one.